It's the Father's Day episode of $20 Chef. So I'm wearing my dad's shoes, my man. Dad's got it figured out. These shits are all terrain. These are the Hummer of all the shoes. I don't have any kids, but I am some of your guys' dad, that's for sure. And today, we're gonna go a little extra special. Dads deserve more than just a breakfast in bed, okay? First of all, they deserve an ice cold Labatt when they wake up. You can't drink all Father's Day if you don't start in the morning. That's a hacky ass line, but it fits. So, I'm on Instagram, and what do I see? I see this cool ass page I come across called The Baker Mama. She makes all these cool boards, all these like breakfast boards and burger boards. So that's what I'm gonna roll with today, okay? You wanna make your dad feel special, don't just give him a couple items. Give him a whole goddamn board full of breakfast items. Dads love buffets. At least that's what I think. I always see a bunch of dads there fucking off with their kids running around. So that's what we're gonna do today. Give him a beer and let him start his Sunday off properly. Now, what am I gonna put in this board? We're going real meaty on this shit. Dad Dads love meat. So I got some thick cut bacon, I got some breakfast sausage, and I got a nice ass New York strip. It's a lot of fruit. We gotta have some pancakes on there, some donuts. Come on, who don't want donuts? That's a breakfast, all right? And most importantly, gonna wash it down with a little bad blue. I'm not saying that because I'm paying my salary, bro. I'm saying it because it's delicious. And you know what the good thing about this is that if you have brothers or sisters and your mom, you guys can all team up on this, make it together. So uh, I'm gonna kick it off obviously with the meat. I got my grill rocking and rolling already. And I'm gonna uh, cook everything else out here with my iron skillet as well. A little oil, that'll be for our eggs and sausage. Uh, we'll get the steak going. Now if your dad has no soul, then let the meat just get well done. But if he's a good man, like I assume he is, we just want a nice medium rare here. Nice little, little coarse sea salt there. A little coarse pepper. I'll tell you, when you have the towel over your shoulder and you're pinching the salt and pepper, you just feel like you went to culinary school. That's why I sit back here with the swagger of a goddamn chef that's been in the game for 30 years. Not because I've actually put in that work, it's because I got the towel and I'm sprinkling spice, man. All right, so I'm gonna let the steak sit here for a few minutes, let that thing just hang out. I'm gonna get this bacon and sausage rocking and rolling here. We're going heavy meats on this breakfast board. A lot of dads like scrambled eggs, so I'm gonna do a little scrambled egg action here. But see, the thing with this whole situation is, it's not that I'm showing you how to cook stuff today, it's just to kind of let that light bulb pop over your head, give you the idea of this whole operation. If your dad wants over medium eggs, that's how he likes it, then that's what you're gonna make because you know what your dad likes. All right, scramble this up. If your dad's a scrambled eggs guy, as soon as the bacon and the sausage are finished, I'm gonna throw these eggs in there. And remember, when, you sh when you're mixing shit up and you have a little bit of belly fat, remember, this is the point where you wanna tighten up your core and pretend you're stronger and more well put together than you really are. That's the real me. This is me tight. Okay, eggs over there, ready to rock. Remember, don't be doing too much stuff without stopping for a little sip of your beer. Have a little self-respect. Let's get the steak on there. All right. All right, so we got our steak cooking, sausage, bacon. Dad's about to be real happy. Also, this is great if you have daddy issues. Maybe your dad is just your sugar daddy. Maybe that's would be nice for him. He's 45, you're 23. Oh man, with this Chris Diella shit, this joke might not fly so well. But either way, uh, <laughs> sugar daddy or real daddy, this could pay off nice. All right, let's go ahead and flip the bacon over. I like how this skillet cooks on the grill. It's not cooking things too fast, you know? Just a nice, slow-ass cook. Your dad's sleeping in on Sunday. We're not rushing around. Okay, so I'm trying to get creative with this board. I didn't want to go with just a regular potato. I found these long-ass weird potatoes, so I'm gonna roll with those on this one. And then I'm just gonna put them on the top shelf in my grill. Remember, before you ever touch your meat with your tongs, hit it with three clicks, kid. It's good luck. Let's flip our steak. There we go. Gonna get a nice medium rare. Looks like our bacon's pretty much done. So I think we're just about ready to start building this board up. Dad's about to wake up. He don't know what's about to hit him. Bacon's done. Make sure you know how your dad likes his bacon. Don't be giving him well done bacon if he don't like it that way. Don't be fucking up Father's Day before he even gets started, okay? Got a couple sausages here. There we go. All right, let's throw these eggs in. Any self-respecting father loves a little bit of grease. We're gonna go cheesy scrambled eggs. Cheese eggs and Welch is great. This is some Biggie small shit right here. Nice and creamy and delicious. All right, let's pull this steak off and let it just rest for a little while. Oh, that feels nice. Feels medium rare. All right, showtime. It's time to start building this breakfast board up. I also threw together some pancakes. I'm not gonna tell you how to make pancakes. If you can't make pancakes, what do you want me to do, man? Get this banana going. If your dad loves bananas, you're gonna wanna come in. I'm gonna at least give him a half the banana. Just give him the link that he's used to handling. That's a weird joke. All right, little pile of bananas over here. Let's lay some bacon out. Now when you're cooking bacon, you wanna make sure to get a good sample. You can't be giving your dad bacon and not make sure it's perfect. Good bacon. Throw down some sausages here. Grab your eggs off, get a little cup. There we go. All right, eggs going. All right, got some grapes. 
Make it look nice. You're decorating, you know? Your dad's been putting up with your shit for how long? Put a little effort in. All right, and here, I'm gonna put a little granola and some blueberries. All right, we're getting close. All right, let's get our steak cut up. It's been resting for a while. It's got a nice little color going here. You got your dad, you're taking care of pops this year. Look at that, nice redness. All right, a little steak and eggs for old dad. Look at that. If you weren't the favorite son or daughter before, you are now. All right, let's get this potato off. Been here cooking for a while. All we're missing now is a little bit of sweets. We need to hit dad's sweet tooth, okay? For the most part, all dads love donuts, especially if your dad's a cop. Start placing some donuts down. Showtime for old dad. And then a little final touch, a little syrup for them pancakes. Have a little class. That's a wrap on this episode. Go out, grab yourself a little 12 pack of Labatt Blue. Get creative. It's up to you now. You know what your dad likes. It's breakfast board Sunday. Make dad feel like he don't have to go to the buffet because the buffet is coming to him. Go grab yourself a couple of Labatt Blues and live it up. Happy Father's Day, everybody.